Hello students, so let's try to go for uh, one more problem from CSIR NET 2024 June examination and this is question number or question ID 705072 and this is mainly uh, atomic physics you can say and uh, this is a very simple question, uh, concept is very simple but uh, you have to just give the answer in a very approximate thing. So let us go for this question. There is an atom, so an atom of mass m initially at rest. So the atom is initially at rest and resonantly absorb a photon. So it is just going to absorb a photon. It makes a transition from the ground state to some excited state and also get momentum kick. So what will happen? Atom have received some uh, photon. The internal electron will go to the ground state to some excited state at the same time due to this particular energy atom will also just have some momentum and if the difference between the energies of the ground state and the excited state is h cut delta so it is given in form of h cut delta then one should find the approximate angular frequency for the absorbed photon so you have to do the approximate calculation. So let us try to go for that. First we will try to solve it completely but we will reach the answer with a, some basic approximation. So let us try to go for this one. So what we will do, we will just go for conservation of energy as well as conservation of momentum. So what will happen? So first of all when we are going for the whatever the energy of photon Thus, energy of photon is h cut omega, which will going to distribute into two parts. One is that transition of the electron plus kinetic energy of atom, that is p square by 2m, where m is the mass of atom and p is the momentum kick you can find. So, this is your conservation of energy. So, this is conservation of energy. And what will be the momentum of a uh, basically the momentum of a photon will be exactly the momentum of uh, this particular atom. So what is momentum of photon? So momentum of photon is h cut omega by c and that is momentum of photon. So what we will do we can put it here this value of p so that is what h cut omega plus h cut delta plus we have h cut square omega square by 2m. So obviously this is the quadratic equation, we can solve this quadratic equation and we can get the answer. But once you will solve this quadratic equation, it will become very clumsy. So you have to read this question very carefully. In this question it is given that what will be the approximate frequency. So for the approximate frequency, we can have this particular concept that this value of the kinetic energy is very very small. So then if this value is very small then what is going to happen? Then if I can assume p tends to almost 0 and which will be actually situation then we have h cut omega is equal to h cut delta. So what we will do we can put it here and this value is equal to h cut omega is equal to h cut delta plus h cut square delta square by 2 and this will be 2m upon c square. So 2m c square is there. So what will happen? h cut will be cancelled. So omega is approximately delta plus h cut delta square upon 2m c square and what we will get? we will get omega is something delta 1 plus h cut delta upon 2m c square. So this is the approximate frequency and you can see the answer number 2 is going to match this. But this is a very crude approximation because one side we are taking this one and again we are talking about this one and we have taken this particular concept also. So this is a little bit approximated thing but yes it is fact that this value of kinetic energy is very very small so we can take this approximation and we can reach the correct answer. Thank you.